What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today, I'm going to be doing Aquarius' September reading. Um, if you're looking for a private uh, reading, my information will be in the description box. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress. As I stated, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watcher, if you're dealing with an Aquarius or someone who has that important placement. Um, as always, I have prayed, shuffled, meditated on the decks. I did get a couple messages for you. The first one was, you are always in my thoughts. The second one, I'm not going to be able to remember word for word. It was an oracle card. It said, um, according to Greek mythology, um, the first humans were created with four legs, four arms. Uh, um, yeah, four legs, four arms, and a two-headed face. Um, and Zeus, fearing their power, split them, um, condemning them to always look for their um, other half. And then you also got the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like uh, there's a lot of twin flame energy going on. All right, so we're going to jump right in. If you've watched me before, you know I like to take um, jumpers. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to be doing a 12-card spread, uh, three cards for each week. So we're going to be here for a little. So grab a snack and, you know, grab a chair and let's hang out for a little bit. Uh, Spirit, can you show me what you have for my Aquarius gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages my Aquarius gang needs to know right now for their highest good, Spirit. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important love messages they need to know right now, Spirit. For their highest good. Please use me as your vessel, spirit, ever so grateful and humbled by the gifts. Please use me as your vessel to bring forth the messages for my Aquarius gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, spirit, for their highest good. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two more, Spirit. Too many, Spirit. One more, Spirit. One more for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There we go. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. This is the overall energy. Let me just organize these cards because we're going to be here for a little bit. And there will be a lot of cards out. Okay, Aquarius, for the first week, you have the Ten of Cups the world, and the nine of pentacles, okay? So we're going to start clarifying right away. Spirit, why is uh, the ten of cups here for my Aquarius gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Why is the ten of cups here? Okay. So um, the ten of cups is the happy life, happy wife, happy family card. But tens are also endings. So this could have been a situation where you guys were happy and something went wrong and uh, it came to an end and you are blocking this person or they are blocking you and somebody's fine. Or this could be somebody outside of your relationship looking at your ten of cups that you have with your partner and they're spying on you. Could be an ex. Let's see what's happening here. Spirit, can I get one more for this? Ten of Cups with this um, Page of Swords. Why, Spirit? For Aquarius Gang, Ten of Cups with the Page of Swords. For my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Ten of Cups. Yeah, um, because this person, whoever is watching you right now, they're stuck in their heads. They have a lot of anxiety and depression in regards 
to this situation that page of swords that could be you because of it is the um gemini libra and aquarius but i feel like this person there's somebody watching you now the next card you have is the world this is aquarius scorpio taurus and leo this could be you but the world talks about cycles coming to a close and new cycles beginning spirit why is the world here for my aquarius gang so um the world is being um clarified by the emperor um this is aries and um taurus you could have been dealing with aries or taurus or um this person because the emperor is a ceo a boss an independent contractor a manager somebody with authority sometimes he's married and um often he can be controlling and the ace of swords is clarifying the emperor so i feel like some kind of truth or clarity brought a cycle to close and a new cycle to begin um, next, you have the Nine of Pentacles here. We're going to find out what that's about. Maybe we'll get a, a clearer picture. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, um, so it seems like there was an ending with your partner. Um, and I think you blocked this person. And I feel like they're stuck in their heads. You could be stuck in your heads, your head too, right? Um, because the cycle came to a close with this emperor because there was a truth that was revealed. And then you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is my looking good, smelling good, feeling good card. Single energy, quite abundant, can do for themselves. Um, and then that's being clarified with the Two of Pentacles. So you discovered that this person was juggling you. And the cycle came to a close. They're watching you, you're suffering. Okay, let's get one more spirit. The uh, Two of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. Why spirit? Two of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles from my Aquarius gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two of Pentacles with the um, Nine of Pentacles spirit for Aquarius. Yeah, because um, you're kind of pissed off at this person right now um, because you put a lot of work into this situation with this Eight of Pentacles and then they um, they juggled you. Whether it was with a third party or two ideas, two situations. But they Sorry about that. For some reason, a phone call broke through. I did put it on silence, but um, you know. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, you're pissed off at this person because you realize that they were juggling you um, and you put a lot of hard work into this situation, okay? And um, you're frustrated. Uh, you weren't planning on being single at this point, but uh, the situation is what it is. And um, you feel like uh, they didn't treat you with the proper respect that they were supposed to. Okay, so before we move on, what I'm going to do before we go into week two is I'm going to get a manifest uh, your soulmate oracle card to see what would give you the best outcome for week one. Spirit, can you show me what would help Aquarius get the best outcome they can for week one, Spirit? What would help Aquarius? There you go. Everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love. Everything you need is already within you. So spirit is telling you, don't um, get caught up in your feelings by how this person treated you. This is a reflection of them and not of you. Okay, so um, in week two, you have the two of pentacles. You have the queen of cups. And you have... The two of wands okay so we're gonna start clarifying week two spirit why is the two of pentacles here for my aquarius gang sun moon rising and venus week two of september why is the two of pentacles here so now um this person um, they, they have come to the realization that they juggled you. They knew that already, but now that you came to the realization, this is, um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, right? 
and now they want to um they want to tell you that they don't want to juggle anymore but you're not listening to them right now you're feeling very defensive because of what they did and then that's being clarified by the six of cups so this is nostalgia fond memories and reconciliation now this could be you trying to come into them and they'd be standoffish but i'm really picking up um that they're trying to come into you because you made this discovery and you're very defensive okay spirit why is the queen of cups here for my aquarius gang sun moon rising in venus second week of um september so the queen of cups this is cancer pisces and scorpio she's very intuitive and very loving but she doesn't always like to wear her emotions on her sleeve she wears a mask and keeps her feelings to herself um which is um how they see you right now i mean that could be them too if you're dealing with a cancer pisces and scorpio yeah this is them because they don't want to outwardly show how they feel because you're coming up as a seven of wands feeling defensive and they see you as we already talked about in this nine of pentacles energy okay you might not be feeling good with that nine of swords but they can't tell because this is uh the looking good smelling good feeling good single card so they see you as singles driving them crazy I didn't even have to look and to see which card it was. It was the Eight of Swords. Now it's a prison of their own making because you're single. They're Queen of Cups because that's how they view you, right? As loving and now they wish that they could come into you. But you are standing your ground. And the reason why this is causing them so much suffering with this Eight of Swords is because of the, the Two of Cups, okay? So... They've come to this realization. You got the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups, and you got the Ten of Cups. So now they come to the realization how much they love you, and the reason why they had juggled you was because they had some unrealistic views of the relationship, too many choices, and they know now that you're looking at the relationship with the Seven of Pentacles, trying to figure out if you still want this because this is uh, looking at your investment and trying to figure out if you got the return. And from what I see, you feel like you didn't. So this puts them on the outs. And that's why you're feeling defensive. And now they're trying to figure out how to come into you. Why? Because of the Ten of Cups, they want to continue that happy life, happy wife, happy family card. Now next is the Two of Wands, which is calling for a decision. Spirit, why the Two of Wands for my Aquarius gang? Second week. Okay. So, um, you might be waiting for this person to make a decision, but I don't think so. I think it's them. I think that they now, um, are starting to understand that the shoe is on the other foot and that the power is in your hands. And then here comes the strength card. This is the card of Leo. Um, and they're trying to be strong because they can do nothing but wait until you decide you want to talk to this person spirit two of wands with the strength card for my aquarius gang second week in september too many spirit why spirit the two of wands with the strength card for second week of september for aquarius why spirit sun moon rising in venus why do you keep giving me books please one card spirit there we go so basically they're trying to find their strength um, to deal with this because they know they have to balance this out. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, but it's also the card of Libra because that's the merchant. They know they have to come with balance because you're not putting up with this shit anymore. Okay? Now we're going to get it. And you had another card flipped over here too. Yeah, that's fitting because they were appearing as the Knight of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, and Sag. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, and Sag. But this is the player card. They were coming in and out of your life. Okay? 
Uh, you did have the world card, so it's talking about cycles. We don't need that card because we already know what it says. Okay, so they were being a player. They were coming in and out of your life. And um, now they have to wait whether you're going to even allow them to come back in. And they're waiting for this decision, okay? So we're going to get a manifest, your soulmate, to see what would be the best outcome for you in week two. Spirit, can you show me what would help Aquarius get the best outcome they can for week two, Spirit? Adventure awaits. Go find it. So Spirit is telling you while on this break and trying to figure out what you want to do, go ahead and live your best life with this looking good, smelling good, feeling card, uh, feeling good card and get out there, okay? This is only going to make this person want you more. Okay, because they're stuck in their heads about that. Now we're going to move to week three. Okay, so week three, Aquarius, you have the five of wands, the king of wands, and the eight of pentacles. Spirit, why is the five of wands here for my Aquarius gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Why is the five of wands here? I knew that was going to come out. So the Five of Wands is talking about conflicts and fighting, right? And that was what was happening in this relationship. Once you discovered what was going on, it brought a lot of conflict. That's also why the cycle closed out, right? And then here is the King of Cups. This is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But what it does mean is that this King... He likes to hide his emotions because he feels and loves very deeply, but he doesn't like to show that on the outside. So he's wearing a veil. He hasn't revealed how much this conflict between the two of you is causing conflict for him or her, right? And then that's being clarified by the five of wands again. So I feel like both of you feel like there's a lot of conflict in this situation. And then you have the Queen of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, and Sag, but this is how they're seeing you. Now for me, the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, they got a lot of similar energy, okay? Um, so I feel like they see you and they see you looking good, smelling good, and feeling good. Now this is a very sassy, feisty go-getter of a queen, and that's how they see you. And then she's sitting next to this queen, king of wands, who I'm about to clarify next. So, for some of yous, while you're out finding the adventure that awaits, remember I just said that spirit gave you the adventure awaits, go find it. That while you're out doing that, you're going to be approached by a king of cups. And... The King of Wands is sitting here, which I'm going to clarify him. Could be the same person, but for some of you, you're going to be dating and this other person is going to find out about it and they're going to be besides themselves. I can already tell you that without clarifying. Okay, they're going to be besides themselves. You got two fives um, with the conflict here. Um, I feel like it's double conflict. It's conflict that this person is holding their feelings back. And it's conflict that they don't like that there's a second king. That's for some of you, okay? So let's uh, clarify this king of wands. Spirit, why is uh, the king of wands here for the third week of September for my Aquarius gang? Yeah. So uh, in the past, this king of wands, uh, this is Aries, Leo, and Sag, a uh, very powerful um, and passionate king and goes after what he wants, knows how to get it. Okay. Um, they walked away from you with this juggling. They might have even ghosted you, or maybe you ghosted them for this King of Cups because you found out that they were juggling and you walked away from them. But I feel like they thought their shit didn't stink, they were out doing what they wanted to do with this two of pentacles and um that backfired on them and now they want to come back they want the victory with you let's get one more king of wands with this eight of cups spirit what's with the books 
um, Eight of Wands with, I should say King of Wands with the Eight of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Um, yeah, so they walked away from you, right? Now you're not really letting them back in and uh, they're waiting for this de decision from you and that is bedeviling them with this devil card. They feel obsessed, okay? Now the devil card is to Capricorn, but it's talking about obsession, addiction, and toxicity. I feel like the toxicity was they weren't being fair. They were um, doing too much, two of pentacles, you know, um, just showing up as the knight of wands, just in and out, doing what they wanted to do, giving to two situations. And um, you decided to pull back your energy. Now they wanted to come back in. But now it seems like you're standoffish to them. And you might even be turning your back on them with the Eight of Cups now. And this is driving them crazy. Now the next card up is the Eight of Pentacles. Spirit, why is the Eight of Pentacles here for the third week for my Aquarius gang? So they're putting in all this work now. They're trying to show you that they love you, but you feel heartbroken by a third party situation um, and you just don't know how to proceed. If you should even believe this person, you're stuck. You feel at a crossroads with this two of swords. Okay, I'm going to get a manifest. Um, your, your soulmate card spirit, can you show me what would help Aquarius um, get the best outcome for week two? Um, life is art, paint your dreams, sing your songs, and enjoy the dance. So Spirit is basically telling you, pay them no damn mind, okay? And then you have here, uh, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. So Spirit is telling you to pour all that into yourself. I'm telling you, this is making this person crazy, okay? So keep doing what you're doing. That is making them, um... They have to be accountable for their actions, okay? Now we're going to move on to week four. And in week four, you have temperance, justice, and the six of cups, okay? So we're going to jump in and clarify that. Spirit, why is temperance here for my Aquarius gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So um, temperance is the card of Sagittarius. This is talking about divine timing. This is talking about patience, healing, and reconciliation. And that's... um being clarified by temperance divine timing reconciliation patient and so they're trying to be patient and um give you time to heal but what they really want to do is rush in now they want to be fair and they want to this is the justice card this is the card of libra you could be dealing with a libra but they could be worried um because i feel like they're receiving their karma but as well now they want to equal things out with you Okay, they really want this reconciliation. I think you want it too, and that's why there's two uh, temperance cards here. Then the next card, oddly enough, is justice again. Spirit, why is justice here? Yeah, um, because now, like I said, um, I do think they have received their karma. Okay, they feel like you were shitting on them the whole month. This is week four, and they're just like trying to get your attention. Okay, and then um, they're like, uh, "Please, Aquarius, please, Aquarius. It's been it's been too long. I can't anymore." Let me give you my pentacle so that you could understand that I'm serious. They're really trying to build with you now, okay? And then you have the Six of Cups here. Spirit, why is the Six of Cups here for my Aquarius game? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm-hmm. Because uh, the Six of Cups is uh, fond memories, nostalgia, and reconciliation, which is all they can think about, all right? They might even be trying to manipulate you a little bit, okay? But this is what they were doing before. They were uh, sabotaging, manipulating, and um, deceiving you. And now they don't like it at all one bit, okay? And they might even feel a little manipulated because I think that they know that you have feelings for them. But they can't understand this newfound um, attitude and they don't like it, right? And why? Because they really want the victory with you, okay? And... They're trying to get your attention any which way they can. This is the Six of Wands. This talks about victory, but it also talks about trying to get someone's attention. All right, so I am going to get a Manifest Your Soulmate card for the last week. And then we're going to do the overall energy with that Ten of Swords spirit. 
look, I didn't even have to ask. You want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. So you're really putting them through the paces. Like, why should I take you back? Okay. And um, they don't know what to do. Um, but you're trying to stay in this energy, which is let things come and go. Stay calm. Let anything... Uh, don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on, which is this is how you're moving and it's making them crazy, okay? So we're going to um, clarify this Ten of Swords spirit. Why is the Ten of Swords here? It's the overall energy for my Aquarius gang. Yeah, because uh, they know they betrayed you. They stabbed you in your back with this Ten of Swords. And uh, they, they also know they were breadcrumbing you they were making a very slow offer that never actually material materialized and you were waiting for them for so long that it felt like a stalemate this is um taurus virgo and capricorn spirit let me get one more ten of swords with the knight of pentacles yeah and they regret doing that with the five of cups breadcrumbing you the way they did uh, they know now that that was a mistake. And then the four of wands, they just want the happy home back. I feel like you might have lived with this person or if not. Uh, they spent a lot of time at your house. That's what I feel. Um, and they just want to um, come home. Okay. Now I'm going to get a divine love message. Spirit, can you show me what Aquarius' this person is feeling but not saying? Spirit, what are they feeling? But not saying anything else. Anything else. Thank you, Spirit. Anger and resentment affect both of us. Uh, let's talk to resolve to solve our issues. So they want to come out of this lack of communication. I feel safe in your arms. I need some time alone. A temporary separation is needed. I feel like this was the bullshit they gave you when they first um, left out. And maybe you didn't know there was something else. There was another person. Then that truth and clarity came and you didn't want to hear it. Okay. I will provide for you. I told you. Now they want to give you your pinnacle and show you that they're serious. Right. And this is not what I want. We're heading in the wrong outcome. We both have to change. You know why? Because this person was never intending to leave you. They were just giving you that, that um, shitty ass story so they could go do what they wanted to do. And then they could come back and be like, I had some time alone and I'm, I really miss you and this and that. But in the interim time, you discovered the truth and that was it. And they couldn't come back. And then they had to figure out what to do. And you were so pissed off, you went out and started doing your own thing. Maybe you were dating or maybe you were just going out or maybe you were dating online because you know what? That eight of pentacles can mean that as well. And they don't like that. Okay, so we're going to get some love and romance uh, cards. Spirit, what does Aquarius feel for their person, Spirit? So um, very soon, um, you're going to have to decide whether you want this person or not. But right here, it has the release your ex. I feel like that's what you did. Uh, but you do feel like um, heart to heart conversations are necessary in regards to the separation that you guys are in. Okay, because there's some type of religious factors, age, race, religion, that makes it hard for you guys to get on the same page. Okay, spirit, what does Aquarius' partner feel for them, spirit? So they know that you're paying attention to these red flags and they see you loving yourself first. They see you in retreat mode and they just want to earn your trust back. Then you have the engagement card here. So they're trying to think of ways that they can kind of up this commitment, whether it be like you guys were openly dating. Now they want to go to cash, um, to um, exclusive dating or if you were exclusively dating, then they want to move in with, with you like the natural progression, right? Because they really want this reconciliation. All right? Spirit, what actions will my Aquarius be taking towards their person, Spirit, for the month of September? What actions will they be taking? So you're still in the mindset of freeing yourself because you feel like you deserve love. Even though you had a lot of attraction for this person. And you are trying to stay optimistic about your love life, okay? But they don't know what to do with themselves right now. Spirit, I'm going to show you what just fell out. Uh, can you show me what uh, 
Aquarius, this person, what actions the, their person's going to take. Yeah. So what fell out was the deception card. I feel like this person has not been completely honest with you. Okay. And it's because they need to heal their own family issues. Where it says your love life benefits when you forgive your parents. So they, they have some issues with their childhood that is affecting your relationship spirit. Um, but they do feel that you're a true love. And they really want to give this relationship a chance. They just don't know how. Okay. Spirit, what is the outcome of this situation for my Aquarius gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the outcome for Aquarius? What's the outcome for Aquarius? So Spirit says you uh, deserve love and love yourself first because there are religious factors, age, race, or religion that makes it hard for you to stay on the same page. And yes, there's a lot of chemistry here, but we're separated for a reason. And uh, this person wants to express their love to you, but you, um, you're considering new love, okay? You don't feel like you want to wait for this person right now, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. And uh, I'm going to get some advice from Spirit. Spirit, can you give me some advice for my Aquarius gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important um, message they need to know right now, Spirit. So Spirit is advising you to forgive even if you don't go back to this person because the forgiveness will be for you and so that you can have a healthy relationship with someone else when that time comes, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. And I just want to say thank you specifically to Aquarius. You guys came in third this week. Um, I should say last week, and that's why I'm with you today doing your September reading first. So I just wanted to say thank you to my returning subscribers for spending a little bit of time with me. And if you are a new viewer and you felt I resonated, please like, subscribe, and comment, as I'd love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.